Hey everybody, this is Diane with Crafting with Fury. Hope each and every one of you are safe and healthy no matter where you are. I am super excited about this video. This video is for Scrappy Shack and this is our Sizzix Scoring Board and Trimmer Series. Number four, I'm going to show you how easy it is to make a banner. Guys, banners have always intimidated me because, you know, it's... It, they're just, it's hard. And I made a banner lickety split with this. And I'm thinking, oh my gosh, I can finally make a banner. And did I mention lickety split? I'm super excited to show you this. And this is the banner that I created to show you how stinking cute is she. Little creepy thing. And what I used was, of course, the Tim Holtz layered and paper dolls. I will leave all the links down below. These bats I took from this Tim Holtz die, which is Moonlight. Tons of bats in this. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then these words, in the dead of night, a stranger visits. How creepy is she? I used this sticker book and this is all from the new release and once again I'll leave all these links to Scrappy Shack down below and guys look how stinking cute look how big this banner is and I made it you can make a banner in a second and I mean one second okay maybe four seconds but doesn't matter what size you want and what I did was I just kind of cut different sizes I was playing with some inks. Look at this size. And then I think these may be the same size. And then I cut in some thick cardstock, some different floral papers. Look how cute. I mean, look at the different sizes. Big size there. And look at this banner, guys. Look how huge this banner is. I mean, huge. Look how huge that is. Any size banner you can create. And I'm going to show you how easy it is to create this. Are you ready? Here we go. <clears throat> okay. So you need to decide exactly, you know, what size you want your banner. And what I decided to do was I want to use this cute little Santa. This is the new Tim Holtz. And it's the Santa Greetings. He's super easy to put together, guys. And I want you to look how cute. Ho, ho, ho. Cute, cute, cute. And so I kind of figured out what size I wanted, you know, my banner to be on. And so what you're going to do is, depending on how, you know, how many you want to make. So I'm going to do five inches. Okay. This is a 110 pound cardstock, guys, and that's how it just cuts through it like butter. Okay, now you'll want to move this away. Okay, you're going, this little ruler is amazing. You're going to pull this up, don't pull it out, and put it to 30 degrees. Okay, so you know the first one's 15, you heard it click there's 30 degrees. So this is the 30 degrees that you're going to use to do your banner, okay? Watch this, guys. Don't blink because you will miss it. You are going to put your paper flush with the ruler. You will put the corner of one edge of your paper right there on the cut line, okay? You're going to cut this okay so scrap throw it away now all you do is flip it over this corner here you will do the same thing put this corner on the cut line straight as you can look I have found that it's easier to start from the bottom when you're doing these so you don't rip your paper. So st always start at the bottom. Cut up. Look. A banner. All you do, 
I'm gonna bring my blade down. You put it flush against the ruler. Put your corner there. Two banners. Do the same thing, which this one will not work because I don't have enough, well, no, yeah, no, yeah. Okay, we'll see. But use your rule. I don't think this one will be as big. No, this one wasn't as, yeah, it is. It's just the same size. So see, uh, I got three of them from that. Very cool. That's how easy, guys, it is to make banners. So the longer, that was like an eight by 11. You could do a 12 by 12. You could make several, depending on how big you want them. You just do like, let me show you a small, okay, here. Say this one, for instance. All right, let's see how large this is. Okay, this is three and a half, okay? Let's see how big this banner is. What degree? 30. So do it on the 30. First thing you're gonna do, you're gonna put it flush with your ruler and you're going to first cut, okay? Then you're going to turn it over, put it flush with the ruler, put the top of that corner. Look, a banner, do it over, same thing. Which like I said, it's easier I've noticed to start your blade at the bottom. Look, watch, 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 banner. There's two banners. Can you believe this? Start at the bottom. Three banners. Have you ever in your life seen making banners? Four banners. Look at that, four banners, that quick. Super easy. Now, punch in the holes. All right. So I'll, I'll punch a hole in the small one and then where was the large one that we was going to do right here? Okay comes with your hole punch. It come, it goes flush, so it makes it easy. And so what you do, just kind of decide. And it's got these little arrows here that kind of help you. Perfect. Look here. And I want to put that right there. Look, perfect holes every time, guys. You... I will make banners now because this is so easy. I'm just super excited. Can you tell? I just love this. All right, so put the little corner. There's these little arrows here. There's your hole. This one's a little longer, so it's gonna be just a tad bit harder. I think I moved that. Yeah, you can move that. Put the corner there. Look, there's your holes, perfect holes. Look at that, easy peasy. Can you believe that craziness? I like that one, okay. So that's how easy, guys, it is to make a banner. But you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna finish this banner out. So let me get a paper. All right, so let's see how we are going to decorate this. All right, I'm going to use this stencil that you can get from Scrappy Shack. It is Tim Holtz Peppermint Layering. And you know how I love to use the black and the white together. I'm gonna use picket fence. So let's get started. I'm super excited about this tool. And I've kind of been thinking, I think, you know, we've done the envelope and the card. We have done the tags. Now we have done the banner. So say we want to maybe gift this. Well, guess what guys? With this tool, you can absolutely create a box. And I think the next video, which will be video five, um, we will make a box. All right, so what we're gonna do is we are going to use distressed ink on this. You know how I love my black and white, even for Christmas. You know what? This mat here, which you can also get from Scrappy Shack, what was I thinking? Comes with magnets. And this 
mat is magnetized. Why was I holding it down when I could hold it down with magnets? That's craziness to help hold this down. All right, so let's go ahead and use the white on here. And we're gonna finish this off. And I wanna see how easy it is to make banners. All right, so what we need to do, I want to make sure my whole banner is colored. So I'm going to move, it doesn't matter if, whoops, I missed it. Let's see, what'd I do? There it is. Okay, doesn't matter if your stencil is smaller than what you need, just move it. See, just move it. Make sure it's even. Let's use these, how cool is that guys? That really helped me keep that down so it wouldn't move so much. All right, so let's go ahead and get some more white ink on there. Because we want it to show. All right, and let's go ahead and move it down. Ta-da! I'm having so much fun with this tool and this. Look at that. Easy. I love it. Tools make life so much easier, don't they, guys? I want black and white striped. Let's see. Ooh, love it. What do you think? Love it, love it, love it. Look at that. Isn't that cute? And that makes such a neat background just with a stencil and white ink. And so now what we're gonna do to make a cute little banner, look how cute he is, guys. Ho, 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 ho. I love it. And I think what we'll do is, and all you have to do, you could make two or three of these as a gift. I mean, how easy would that be? Let's pop him up. I'm so excited. Let's pop up this little guy. I hope you guys are enjoying this series. I know I sure enjoyed learning and, and being with you all. All right. We are about ready to get it done get it done how fun is this all right so let's put ho ho right here in the middle look look at that this is been almost a 13 minute video and we've made a banner how stinking cute is that so guys don't forget to comment on this video thank you guys so so much for stopping by i truly appreciate it and don't forget to subscribe to scrappy shack look how stinking cute those are and how easy that was to make so thank you guys so much for stopping by may god bless each and every one of you and i will see you in the next video bye bye